All right, I was able to get a hitch out. Finally, it took about 30 minutes, but got a hitch out. Gave the guy a little tip too, just to kind of help help him out since he went out of his way a little bit. I sure appreciate it. Now I'm back on the trail. It's tough leaving town, but here we are heading back out again. So I'll see you guys at the campsite. Okay, this is Mount Bromley. This is actually one of the ski slopes to go down the mountain. Real popular ski area here for Vermont. So I'm going to go to the top. Three more tents to the top. Alright, this is the top of Mount Bromley. Beautiful view. Got the ski lift here. Drops all the skiers off. I really, 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 really want to come up and snow ski and take the family up. They've never done it. I've been one time. It was amazing. Off that mountain way over there, you can see some other snow trails coming down. And behind me here is just another lift that comes up. It's all abandoned right now because it's summertime. But during wintertime, this place is probably cooking. Cannot wait to come back and do some snow skiing one of these years. Oh, also, while I'm up here, I want to say a special thanks to Ken Smart and his family for the uh, unexpected uh, Trail Magic through Zell last night they gave me. So that was amazing. Thank you so much. You don't know what idea what that means and how it helps. So thank you again. I'm going to say I really appreciate it. You guys following along and being part of this journey. Man, the views up here are amazing. This is like a 360 view of the whole top of the ski area. Looks like an old pulley they used to use. In that building over here, there's actually power you can charge your stuff up, so it's pretty cool. As I come down the mountain here, I notice there's a water cashier. So I dropped off a whole bunch of um, gallons of water. Even though this section of trail has a lot of water, it's nice because you don't have to stop and filter. And that takes time to get your pack off, get your filter out, get the water, squeeze it out, filter it. So this makes it easier. So this is really nice. Whoever this trail angel was that donated this water and put it here for us. I don't know how many gallons that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably about 20 some gallons of water. So this is fantastic. So I'm able to sit and go up some water and fill up and then up the mountain I go. This is the top of Styles Peak. Some beautiful lakes around this area. This is the trail today. Walking up all this rock. And I'm going to go all the way up there. But check this view out. This is pretty. Well, this is the water source. We got water tonight. Beautiful. All these gigantic boulders. Though. Look at them. Huge boulders. Bigger than cars. Beautiful spot though. Shelter's right up here. This is Little Rock Pond. All right, I made it to my campsite. <clears throat> They're at mile marker 1675. 1675. I made, um, I did 19.8 today, so a big day today. But I wanted to do less tomorrow, and I wanted to kind of cut some time off so I can get this thing finished as quickly as possible. Because it's tough, and I want to get home and be finished. But tonight I had some um, hickory smoked beef jerky and some mashed potatoes. I'm just sitting here relaxing, and I'm going to go to bed. 
All right, good morning, everybody. It's morning of day 137 on the trail. Just breaking camp. There's a beautiful lake here behind me, the pond. I'm fixing to head out on the trail. I'm going to try to do a big day again today. We'll see how far I get anyway. So lots of work to do today. I'm going to just get to it and get done. I'm going to give you guys a good look at this pond this morning before I get going. Beautiful, nice and glassy. And all these rocks are piled up and people have been stacking them. Top of this mountain, that's weird. This gentleman here has some trail magic for us, making some hot dogs and we got some drinks and snacks and stuff. So this is a wonderful time. All right, I just climbed up this big hill after that trail magic. But it really helped get me up here though, that's for sure. I uh, had two hot dogs, some chips, two Mountain Dews, a um, big slice of watermelon. That was just amazing. First time I had watermelon in a while. And uh, also, he had some of these little drink packets, LMNT. Not sure if I like them or not. It's watermelon salt, and it makes the drink really salty. I like drinking salt water, but watermelon flavor. It's kind of, I guess, like Gatorade, but it's a lot more salty. It's kind of weird, but tastes pretty good. So. Besides the salt. Oh, so I got about, uh, I think, 12 or something more miles to go today. Taking my time and just trying to get these done. I did 19 something yesterday. If I do this today, it'd be 19 something. So that's about 40 miles done in two days. Really pushing it. I want to get this thing finished. Get off this trail and get home and see Kelly. And the kids and the dogs and friends and family back to church. And see all the friends and family there. And just complete this thing i'm over it. so it's tough and i got two more states left i have new hampshire which is where the whites are at and that's one of the hardest sections and then maine's supposed to be pretty tough too so but i got i think maybe three more days and i'll be done with the state something like that maybe four i don't know maybe five i don't know how many days it is we gotta look at the calendar again count it up how many miles i have left but anyway hanging in there being tough Trying to finish this out. Alright, I made it to another lookout. Let me turn the camera around and show you this view. There's the airport runway right there. See a little farmhouse and a pond way down there. Pretty spectacular. Yeah, I just came down off of this mountain. I'm almost to the parking lot. Beautiful camping area here. I'm about to cross over this gorge. It's called a gorge, it's not that deep, but waiting for the people to cross so I can cross. I'm gonna see what it looks like here. How are y'all today? Good. All right. People down there swimming. Wow. Well, it's beautiful. All right. This thing is shaky. Oh boy. <laughs> it's pretty cool. This is the trail today here in Vermont. We got to go up there where that white blaze is. Came down and we came up all this here. Way down there. Up, 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 up. It's a steep climb. Oh my goodness. Whew.